And I'm joined now by WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi, who's been tracking all the latest developments at the State House. You were there for today's news conference. Uh, let's talk about this grant program that Kelly just mentioned, because completely eliminating it, that's a really big step to take in the wake of all of this, isn't it? Absolutely, Shannon. I think there's a couple reasons for that. First, the Ray Gallison investigation really rocked the State House, especially you think about it, it comes only two years after those dramatic raids related to Gordon Fox. They know how bad that looks, and they're under a lot of pressure to show they're taking all this seriously. The other reason, it is an election year. Mm -hmm. Mattiella wants Democrats to be able to walk their districts and show voters some concrete reforms when they campaign this fall. And I think because of that, they, that's why they're doing this grant program elimination. That's why you see Ethics Commission oversight of the lawmakers coming back, the master lever. All that's trying to say to voters, we understand. Now, separately, we also have a legislative grant program. And uh, some critics are saying that Senate President Teresa Piva Weed and Mattiello should also be getting rid of that program because you know, doesn't it go for both? <laughs> they are, but uh, not going to happen, it sounds like, based on what we heard today. These are the smaller grants. They cut checks to little leagues and groups like that, but they argued to us today at the press conference that there's more oversight over those grants than there was over the community service grants, the ones Kelly talked about. And frankly, they just, they want to have that power to give those out, and they're keeping it for now. Now, of course, this is all ahead of big day at the State House tomorrow as they unveil the state budget. So uh, what are we expecting in terms of that? Well, there's a couple things I'm keeping an eye on for the budget tomorrow. First of all, taxes always. Uh, I'm, I'm told there's been some tension between the House and Senate over tax cuts, how many tax cuts to push through. Um, that's one thing to be watching. Another is tourism money in mm -hmm. the wake of the cooler and warmer debacle. I think they may want to cut that back a bit to slap the Governor Raimondo's administration. Also, education, medical marijuana. All those things are things to keep an eye on. Now, we know the state budget talks tend to go a little long, but <laughs> Ted will be there all tomorrow night until the very end, and he'll have all the details. We appreciate it, Ted. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you read, wanna, wanna read more about this or any other story Ted Nisi is working on, you can find it on our website, WPRI.com.